Hey guys, welcome to another episode of ClipX Pro Q&A with Stray. The question for today is, can I use ClipX Pro to select a specific chain in a rack based on number, name, or color, and then solo only that chain, or have all chains muted, and then unmute the selected chain? All of that's possible except for selecting chains by color, and we'll take a look at how that's done. For this example, I'll be using a drum rack, but what we're talking about here will apply to any sort of rack. So first, let's look at how we can select chains. We can use this C cell action for that, and we have a few different options in terms of how we can select chains. We could select them by their number, by their name, or we can navigate uh, to the previous or next chain. All right, once a chain is selected, we can apply actions to it. I've got a couple examples here. This one will toggle the solo state of the chain, and these two will change its color. All right, we can also apply actions to specific chains or to ranges of chains. In this case, we'll be muting all chains and then unmuting the selected chain. All right, and this one will simply unmute all chains. All right now on a related note, we can also use a Macrobat rack to control the selected chain. The rack's called cell chain, and it can control the mixer parameters of the selected chain. So we can control its volume, control its pan. We can also control sends. And then we have a special uh, control here for drum racks, uh, and this will control the out note, which allows for transposition. So I hope that gave you a feel for working with chains in ClipX Pro. Please keep the questions coming, and I'll see you in the next episode.